What's up guys, welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I have no... I have no audio, hold on guys. Alright, that, there we go. Now, now we're good. We're cooking now. We're cooking. Okay, so, if you guys notice this little hot bar, add myself some uh, oil shell. I ran out of gas mm, completely. I have 34 gas left. So, we're going to fill that up, and we are going to put that in here. So, on the map, I have a little location marked. It's kind of like, it's like a town hall kind of thing. So we're going to go back there because I haven't finished exploring it yet. And so the town hall, I got halfway through it and off screen. And the other thing that I want to work on is there's a opening up that little town. Probably should have avoided town, actually. So I managed to fix some of the stuttering. Uh, so here's the here's the deal. My computer does not go on the internet very often. I keep it pretty much offline. Uh, mostly because the internet around where I'm stationed sucks, and it's very it's very very bad. So I leave it off the the internet because of that. Now. The thing is, my computer itself, aside from small updates from Steam and things like that, I've kept off the internet for about six months. When I put it back on the internet, it got saturated with um, Windows updates. So it was showing my computer as being, you know, using full optimization. Is 100% using the CPU, and I think it had to do with the updates. I updated the computer, and for the most part, the utilization of the CPU has been fairly low. So I'm assuming that means that it has, um, you know, I'm assuming that was what the problem was that my computer was so out of date. So, yeah, if you guys are in the military and you don't have good internet, expect your uh, computer be severely out of date. I still have to check Radeon and see if they, there's any new graphics drivers because I haven't checked any of that either. And is that an army camp right there? What is that? I don't think I've seen a camp like this one. Oh, hey there. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, hey there. Okay, so I need to start investing in some, like, armor-piercing rounds or something. Oh, so I... F before I forget, so I did put some more perks, points, into Lucky Looter, so we got it to four. The next one we need to work on is salvage operation um, and that's maxed out. This one we can get which would be pretty good. Uh, bu -bu -bu. These are all maxed out. Okay I don't really pay attention to these although I might start investing into the archery 
Because we can get to right here, Marksman. And then... That's Max. And then we got one more level of Chemist, which would be good because we can make the uh, fibers. And the uh, first aid kits. Now that I see it. So we might go with Yeah Science first, or Yay Science, or whatever. And then we'll go with... Uh, Probably archery, honestly. Because I kind of do want to make... Because I, I think if you max it out, you get the crossbow. Like, the good one. Archery. Combo. Com uh, compound. Compound bows? Not seeing it. Well, we can build, like, a very good compound bow. Can we actually build one right now? I don't think you can. I think you have to get it from... Oh, you gotta get it from schematic. The reason why I want... Why I want ooh, crap, man. The reason why I want to get the compound is I feel like it might be just a tad bit better than the, um, the regular compound... Or the regular uh, crossbow. And if we can get the reload up pretty high, then it might not necessarily be as bad as um, as our current one is. The thing is, I just don't see any point in using the a lot of the agility skills. I mean, most of them are not that entertaining. I mean, parkour would be good. And light armor would probably be good as well. But... I mean, deep cuts, I'm not a, uh, I'm not much of a melee guy. And even if I do use melee weapons, it's not a knife. It's going to be something like, um, like a club or a baseball bat. I tried using sledgehammers, but they just, they, they're just too slow. Alright, so anyway, compound bow I kind of want to use because it's a lot easier to make arrows than it is bullets, and honestly, 7.62 are pretty expensive to build. I've got plenty right now, but I'm, I have a feeling that the next, I'll probably be wanting to save all my bullets, as, at least as much as I can for a... Um, or Horde Knights because I've got this this is set for like warrior I think warrior difficulty all the zombies run during the day I might move it up to sprint because I think run and sprint are two different options I'm basically making this game way harder than it has to be so the, the Horde Knights are uh, random, as, at least as random as I could get them. I think I got it like set to happen every three days and then there's an option where you can have it set uh, like, but it can happen a certain amount of days later. So I have it set for every three days and then I think I have the, but it can happen three days later kind of thing set. So that's what I've got the settings on right now. There's the, uh, Waterworks where we nearly died. I think this biome really screws with the frame rate. Just so gloomy. And like there's if you have it max settings, it's like very um foggy. Like there's a lot of fog, a lot of smoke. I guess it's probably more smoke. But like <sighs> All those, all those particles, all the, uh, you know, all the particles, all the, uh, b -b -b what should we call it? The, like, reflections, god rays, things like that. It's just a lot of undue stress on your system. Some water supplies up there. It's all like a little medical thing. Not really anything we're worried about.
honestly, we could probably get away with just, um... Now that I think about it, we could also get away with, um... Okay, so I went in there. Just a bathroom. This is probably just a bathroom as well. This is your courtroom. We had a bunch of zombies coming out here, so... I think there's like a... Oh crap, I'm dead. Oh crap. Molotov did not help. So I don't know. Let's just say how much the damage the Molotov. 250 fire damage. Well, it killed them, but it took a long, 16 damage. So by the time it burns out, it does kill them, but it's kind of kind of slow. Um, yeah, you can definitely tell they never had any brains to begin with. No wonder they were zombies. Okay, so go with the small safe first. Oh, isn't there a lock picking skill? There was a lock picking. Yeah. What's this under? Is it perception? It is. Okay. Could get that down to. I don't know. We'll stick with what we we're planning on uh, putting our stuff through. Yay, science, and, uh... I mean, because worst comes to worst, we run out of picks. We can just freaking break into them the old-fashioned way. Okay, bad. Kind of sucks. Take the mud. Because I think I can go ahead and put that on here. I left my gasoline in the bike. Steel sledge. Don't need any of that other stuff. I don't know why I leave the FPS counter on. I thought about getting one of them pass through graphics cards. Not graphics cards, uh, capture cards. Kind of like what I have now. Oh! Oh, that was a. Oh! That was a good one. Okay. I 
Honestly, I don't need that. Do I already have one of those? I think I already have a band oiler. I don't. And this is like what? Reload plus 30%? Oh, it could be put on leg arm. So I could take this off, put that on, and then... There we go. Okay. It's definitely faster. Okay. So 49, now I wonder if the damage changes if you have 42, so it does. So explosive arrows has 164, okay. Flame arrows have 49, and then steel, has 59 so and plus you can obviously get it upgraded via you know the perk as well and that would be very that honestly I feel like you could make yourself a very solid crossbow build or like a archer build if you started early on I wonder does so 38 damage so I wonder if it adds like an average or something like you 38 damage plus the base damage and then or like yeah 38 damage plus the base damage and then divide it by two I wonder if it has some kind of formula like that or if it's just Hey, this is what we feel like. Oh, you're using stronger arrows? Okay, here you go. This is a little bit better. So, I'm, I'm kind of curious on which... Like, how, how that works. You know, now that I think about it, I think I have a band oiler... Already. Like, I think I had one on, um, like, not on my armor, but, like, I think I had one. Oh, nice. That's good. Unfortunately, none of the stuff we've found so far is what exactly we're looking for. ourselves a hospital how cool would it be if they had like a distribution plant and stuff you know okay here's my thinking this game has a lot of uh, is that a shotgun messiah oh it is oh we got ourselves a shotgun messiah guys honestly oh 
Alright, so here's my thing. You look at the world today. What do we have? We have stores. Okay, check. Seven days does too. We have um, factories. Okay, yeah, we got some Shamway factory. We, we got the uh, Sh Shotgun Messiah. Uh, there's construction sites. Okay. What? Uh, but like, what about like a mid-sized PUI? It's like a, but it's like a. Uh, Anyway, but it's more like, it's not like your usual, you know, it's not your usual POI. It could have like, you could have like semis and stuff, you know, that were parked there or whatever. And like, make it to where the semi trailers or something are, able, you're able to go in them. So you have like semis and you can have like um, like an incoming like receiving and you can have your receiving and you can have your you know outgoing stuff. I don't know, it just feel I feel like it you know, kind of something like that. Make it a little bit more, like, the, make the towns a little bit more realistic. And, I mean, maybe, like, make a, it do, doesn't even necessarily have to be a, uh, like, part of a chain. Or, like, you can make one that's kind of like Amazon or something. Iron, wood. You can have like, um, yeah, make it like Amazon. So like, if you go in there, you might find lots of, uh, I don't know, um, food items. You can find clothing, you know, different, not necessarily steel spear, I'll take that. Military gloves, I'll take those. Oops. Nope. Another blue shotgun. We'll take that as a, uh, and sell that. Got one more crate, right? It's all, it's like over here on the. Yep. Oh, M60. Okay. Take that. Sounds good. Actually, we can put the grip on our rifle. By itself it has so if I were to keep that so I've got three I'd have to get rid of
Everything I have has two. Alright, well, um... emails okay dude I love the SMG honestly all right so got ourselves a little survivor village here let's take a look at the map Looks like we got a school over here. Maybe an army thing back there. No, that looks like it might be a collapsed building. Some of these are really hard to tell what they are. Not sure what that. Oh, you know what? That might be a cemetery or something. Hospital, put your peats. That's a playground. Where did you come from? They're mad. Reload. Dang, that was perfect timing. We're not even gonna look at him, we're just gonna... Okay. 
that's all. Alright, let's go. There's a, either a lot of them in here or it's like the weather. It's very, very stuttery in here. I think it's the weather. Alright. Mission accomplished. We got our, uh, got our books. Can I read these while I'm in the bike? No. Military armor. That's good. Flaming arrows. Oh, breaching ammunition. That's good. How are we doing on books right now? Yeah, some of them were pretty close, others were pretty far away. Okay, so if we look at the map, we got a little bit of section here and a little section here. So, there's possibly another road here, but I doubt it. It doesn't. I think they try to keep the cities pretty far away from the, um, the edges of the map. Oh, you guys know how much I love these places. That was one gunpowder. Okay. Let's take the die. Put that on our hunting rifle or something. Or our sniper rifle. Pink, sure. Take some pink dye. Yellow. Yellow's kind of ugly. Get back down on the ground. See, okay, that is a good amount of gunpowder. If 
only this was like green at or yeah green at the very least might be able to sell it not interested in the shamway take the leather hood what do I have on blue leather hood too okay. now the reason I don't use the heavy armors is yes I get it they're stronger but they wait they, they wait they slow you way down Okay, guys, I'm looking at the clock. It's 36 minutes in, so we're going to call it an episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to... Oh! Always happens when I'm trying to close out a video. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next.